Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing well. We in Michigan are on lockdown in our houses and I'm sure you are wherever you are also locked down in your house. I hope you guys are all healthy. I hope you're staying safe. I hope that your family is healthy and I hope that you're washing your damn hands. I am stuck in my home with my three kids and um, today I wanted, to, this is a knife, <laughs> today I wanted to share with you a super simple sangria recipe. Um, to just like lift your spirits. For me, I make sangria a lot for like parties and stuff that I have around my house. So I happen to have some ingredients here already. And of course I stocked up on some wine when I was doing my quarantine shopping. Um, this is just like a fun way to drink during the day. <laughs> my kids are technically on spring break even though they're off school for who knows how long. So they don't have any schoolwork they're supposed to be doing. So we're just like chilling and relaxing. I'm only doing some explaining because I'm not sure if you can see the time on the clock, but it doesn't matter, right? That's not important during quarantine because the rules are different here. So I'm going to list all of the ingredients that I use down in the description box below. And I'm also going to try to like film with this camera here and then use my iPhone as like my second camera. So the first thing we're gonna do is uncork my wine. I am using a red blend because that's what I have. Normally when I make sangria, I use like a two buck chuck from Trader Joe's, but just use like whatever red wine you have at home. Um, I've never made this recipe with a white wine, but I'm sure it would just be lovely. If you do that, let me know. I'd love to know how it is because once I'm out of red wine, I'm gonna have to switch to white wine. Okay, so I've uncorked my wine. First of all, I wash my hands, everybody. You guys should be washing your hands too. In my freezer, I had some frozen fruit. I had some dark sweet cherries. These were from Costco. Nobody in my family likes them, so they've been living in my freezer for a really long time. And I also had these organic pineapples. Um, you can really just use any kind of frozen fruit that you have. They're just sort of like to add a little bit of flavor to the sangria. I don't really know how much of a difference it actually makes because I think I will end up finishing the sangria before the fruit has any time to do anything, but it looks pretty. Now I'm gonna cut up my two oranges. Um, I actually washed these oranges with soap and water when I brought them home from the grocery store. Um, I don't know if everybody's doing that, but I just thought it would you know, be a good idea. So one of these I'm going to chop up and the other I'm gonna cut in half and squeeze the juice into my pitcher. Now I'm gonna pour in the entire bottle of wine. If you wanted to do more than one bottle of wine, that's great, good for you, and you should just double everything else. Next I'm gonna put in half a cup of triple sec or any orange liqueur that you have. Um, I feel like this is sort of important, but if you don't have it, just don't worry about it. You can put in a little extra if you want. Now, normally when I make sangria, I put in some brandy, which I don't actually have any now, so I will move on to the next step. Um, the next step is putting something carbonated in it, and it sort of cuts the alcohol so it's like a little bit more palatable. Um, when I made this the other day, I put in two orange LaCroix and a little bit of sugar because I didn't have any Sprite. Normally I use Sprite, and I have Sprite today, so I'm gonna put in this whole thing of Sprite. Now I'm gonna stir everything all together. I like to get my spoon in there and really like smush up the fruit so all the flavors mix together. And if you use sugar, you wanna stir it a little bit longer so that this sugar has time to dissolve. And that's really all there is to it. I'm just gonna put the lid on this. Um, and pour some into my glass that I already have ice in because I'm so prepared. I cut myself a little orange sliver to garnish my cup. So that is it for my super simple sangria recipe. I like to make sure that some of the chunks of fruit make it into my glass for, you know, the effect of sangria. Um, isn't it beautiful and cute? And you know, remember, you don't have to feel any guilt or shame drinking this because calories or alcohol consumption don't matter when you're in quarantine. It's just like a whole new set of rules. And that is gonna do it for this video. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you make the sangria recipe. Um, in the future, I will share how I normally make sangria for like big parties and stuff. 
it's always such a hit. Everybody loves it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.